Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today's video is about something I've bought, um, which you might see in the thumbnail, I'm unsure whether I'm going to put it in or not. Um, and I think I've been ripped off or scammed or, I don't know, but um, I bought, it's another four wheel drive, because you know we like four wheel drives on this channel, but it's something a bit different. Um, I'll show you what it is now and I'll tell you what I think I've been ripped off. Right, so as you saw there, it's a Mazda Bongo. Um, Four wheel drive, 2.5 litre turbo diesel, uh, 140,000 miles, it's in kilometres on the clock, but it's 140,000 miles it's done. Um, pop top roof, there, uh, that just comes up and you've got a bed inside there. It's got two beds downstairs and a little kitchenette thing in there with um, a cooker and a sink and a fridge. Um, so, really nice, thought we could get away, me and the missus um, could use it. Uh, but it's got 12 months, no, we've got 10 months MRT, I bought it with 10 months MRT, and no advisories whatsoever. The place I bought it from, I found, was the place that MRT did. Um, and I found two quite big holes um, underneath. I'll put a picture of them in now. So that, that's one of the holes I found underneath the car there. Um, I've spoke to the chap who sold it to me and MRT did, and he said they weren't there when he MRT did. Um, so they have appeared in two months. Um, I mean, the holes weren't there as such, um, but when I went on doing looking at the water pipes and where, where the water pipe came out from the sink, I just seen the rot and pushed it through. When we bought the car, um, we were quite excited about the inside and the roof and all that sort of stuff, and we failed to do the normal checks that we would do. This is a mid-engine car, so the engine is under the um, two seats inside there. As you can see, the centre console is out and um, the, yeah, the centre console is out um, because I've been looking at the engine. So that's going to be bad news, isn't it? If I've been looking at the engine. Number one, the I don't think the MLT is right. I'm having it checked. I'm going to have it up in the air and just pre-MLT it um, by the MLT that we use just to make sure that it should have passed an MLT. The fog load doesn't work, but that could be a fuse. That could have gone in two months. We can't say anything about that. But the um, the holes in the rear, I don't think it should have passed you those. The other major issue is um, we went to Aberystwyth. We were driving down a country road um, from the campsite and it started to run away now if you know what run away if you've ever seen anything run away you'll know that um what happens is the oil vapor starts to feed the engine instead of the fuel and when that happens um, the engine runs at full R rpm and you can't cut it out you turn the key off it continues to run smokes hammering out the back of it and it's trying to basically destroy itself it's trying to it will destroy the engine because it will use all the oil out of the engine. The engine will be running dry at full RPMs and then it will just um, concave blow something out the side of the engine. It will just do itself in. Um, and it started doing that. Um, luckily, I know how to do it in a manual. In a manual, you'd put it into first and you'd drop the, um, you'd release the clutch and that would cut the car out. In an automatic, I didn't think that would work, but I tried it anyway. I turned it off. It was coasting early. It started in full RPMs. So I slammed the um, auto box into first and it cut the car out. Um, so we got away with that, look at that. Um, but we were then stranded. So I took the intake off and I knew that if, with the intake off, with the car running, if it started to um, try to destroy itself again, I could put my hand over the um, intake and it would cut the car out. Um, so we limped on to the campsite. When we got to the campsite, we were checking it over and I found that it got the oil was three litres overfilled. Um, we did check the oil before we set off. The old dipstick's got a weird S on it and there was some oil at the top of the S um, shape. I'll show it you, hang on. So with these, um, the seat tips backwards in order to get to the engine. So you pull that forward like that and then there's some clips around here 
that I've already undone. And you whip the seat backwards. And there's the dipstick, I'll just have to hold the seat up. There's a dipstick there, look. So. You've got like that. That show. So I've got to torch in my mouth. So there was some oil on that shape of the dipstick, on the sort of S shape of the dipstick. And what that meant, what it looked like it had just got it from sort of running, pulling it back out of the tube, I thought there was oil on it. It turned out the oil was all the way up the dipstick. Um, so I emptied the three litres out and we got on. Luckily, everything was okay. It run fine, it didn't smoke, everything was okay. But when I got on, I thought I'll do some more checks. I went on Facebook, spoke to some people, they said, a chap said check for coolant or diesel in the oil. I smelt the oil, stunk of diesel. Sorry, so there was diesel in the oil. So after speaking to many, many people on um, Facebook, so I'm just looking at the cameras, there's somebody outside trying to get in the door. After looking at many, many Facebook posts and speaking to a lot of people, there's a lot of people in the know on the, on the Bongo forums on Facebook. Um, somebody told me that it was probably the um, fuel filter, a uh, fuel pump fuel pump front front seal that's letting diesel past. I checked this car and it's got a electric fuel pump which it shouldn't have. So that means that the mechanical fuel pump's failed, the seals have failed and the electric fuel pump is running in. Because the seals have failed, the diesel is going in to the um, sump. Problem with that is that it's filling that up and then the, too much oil has caused it to run away and nearly destroy the car. Um, pretty lucky with it. But I'm gonna do some videos on um, changing the seals in this because I can't find any on the internet so we'll we'll change the seals, we'll do some videos on that uh, and I'll show you around the bongo.